Hello, once again, we're here with another interview. Here we have Tanya, another member of our team. Um, would you care to introduce yourself and let them know what you do for our team? Hi, uh, I'm Tanya Pafisak. Uh, I'm a 3D environmental artist and 2D illustrator. For this project, I, I make new art asset, also modify existing one to create immersive game world for the Bass Reef story. I also provide whatever support for the other team member, like for example, doing level design or like simple animation for the environmental props. Okay. Yeah, all right, cool, cool. And how did you get into game development? So I've been wanting to make games since I was a little kid, but I had no idea how. And before I become a 3D artist, I actually worked in aerospace. As a design engineer, I'm, I create models for airplane interior, like the cabin and the seat and stuff like that. While on that job, uh, I took night classes on 3D game modeling for fun. I also took some classes on game design because I was curious how to make a game level. And then whenever I have some time, I join some game jams to learn about game development because for me, those are like free boot camps, you know, I don't have to take too many classes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's great for networking yeah. as well. So mm -hmm. one day I got tired of my old jobs and I just, you know, I quit my job and I just try freelancing as a 3D artist. And thankfully because of all the networking and all the game jam I did, I, got, I met several clients and since then I've been working on several games and some VR projects and managed to ship a game title. On my spare time, I also work on like a project for fun. So. Cool. And I didn't know you had a background in aerospace. Um, I got my degree in aerospace engineering. My bachelor's. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I know you're in the industry too. Yeah. <laughs> and I guess, um, why did you choose to work on this project? So, like, when I choose my to work on my client project, I usually look for like project that tells stories for minority groups. I'm kind of like a jaded grammar. I'm, I'm tired of the same stories over and over again. So I kind of want to hear stories from like other cultures, other, you know, other groups that I don't really hear. So um, when Lobster actually mentioned about this project, I was really interested because Vasif sounds really like a cool guy. <laughs> and in the past, I also worked with Lo Lobster in Game Jam. So I know he can turn this project from like idea into a finished product, which is important yeah. for me. <laughs> and did you know who Bass Reeves was before working on this? Actually, I don't. So, mm -hmm. and I'm learning more and more about him throughout this project. There's so many interesting things we find out almost every time we go, we get a meeting and I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> you know? So mm -hmm. I'm hoping that more people also get to learn more about him from our project mm -hmm. yeah, me too. yeah he is very interesting like i said i just um well i probably heard people here from these interviews i just learned about him like three years ago and uh mm -hmm. very interesting person uh, that a lot of people probably haven't heard about mm -hmm. and um his last question what has been the most um what have you enjoyed most about working on this project i think just getting to know more of the people i work with and like Again, listening to like the story of Bass Reef and how I'm not sure why he's not in like history books, you know, like he's such a interesting character. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, yeah. Very cool. Any last words or anything else you want to say to the people? Mm, just play the game whenever it's out. It's you're going to have fun. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, um, thanks everyone for tuning in this time and we'll Talk to you all next time.